Right, turn this around so I can set it up for boring again. easy with this build. I'm going to have to grind off some of this I think. It has to be able to fit within there just over 20 mil so I've got to take about 4 mil off it. Didn't expect that to actually work. Than I honestly expected it to. Right, I've been having a bit of a think since I tried the initial boring on this thing, and I had thought of doing this in stages because if I reduce the diameter of the boring bar, it also reduces the rigidity of the boring bar. The problem I have though is that I can't actually measure the depth of the bore accurately this deep inside it. Like I can measure the diameter here pretty accurately and here pretty accurately but I can't measure in the middle. So I'm going to have to reduce the diameter of the boring bar just enough that it will reach through the entire length. And the, my, the other part of what I was thinking Instead of boring it out to exactly, or as close as I can get to 20 millimeters, <coughs> I'm going to get it to about 19.95 or something, and then I have a new toy. This is a reamer. It is not a drill bit. You do not use this in holes that aren't nearly the right diameter. What this does is in the same way that I use my scraper to scrape out a flat surface the blades on this turn around and they scrape, 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 scrape the inner diameter of something until it is the perfect diameter that we want. As an example this is a 16mm reamer and the bore inside here is 16 millimeters badly and that's how it will work except this is slightly over 16 millimeters because even with the best will in the world when you drill something the drilled hole is going to be slightly bigger than the drill bit and I, when it wasn't the best drilling in the world when I did this, it was freehand with an electric drill and it was going wobble, wobble, wobble. So that's why this 16mm one is, yeah, wiggles. So instead I'm going to bore it, since boring is a lot more accurate. Then once I've got it approaching 20 millimeters, I'll use, take this, put it in, and scrape it out to 20 millimeters. But like I said, before I do that I need to thin out this part of the boring bar so it will reach through that unfinished bore. There are serious stability problems with this. I see what people mean when they say the Gingery lathe has no rigidity at all. I've got a little plastic tray just down there to collect all that stuff. 
something that this is doing that really drove home is that I need to sort out a lead screw drive system that will automatically advance the lead screw because that is getting old. Just to illustrate why it's a problem, I ordered sight unseen from eBay some um, RC remote control yeah, drive um, things. And they're stretchy enough, but I'm not sure that they'd be able to transmit a lot of power or that they wouldn't break. So back to the drawing board. I got these. Well, yeah, they can transmit a lot of power. They're also nowhere near long enough or stretchy enough. Quick question Do commercial lathes kick a whole load of stuff onto the floor as well? Yes, I know. Stick out from hell, no rigidity, blah blah blah. I'm well aware. Please do not lecture me about stick out and rigidity. I know there is no rigidity to the sodding lathe, and I know that the amount of stick out means it'll deflect like mad, but there is no thing I can do about it. And I need to bore through the entirety of this thing. I can't do anything about the stick out. My little d bearer will cut the Zamac, but not enough to make, to make it worth doing that. There's just a little bit too much here that a millimetre isn't getting cut off there. Hopefully this ball gauge won't work anymore because it tops out at about 19 mil. 18.1 or so according to that. <laughs> says yes it's flexing like hell. Sorry 19.63. Wow this is smooth as butter. Okay, the Zamac is still very gummy and it loves to cling to this. Okay, I am super impressed with this reamer so far. Super, super impressed. And that feels as clean as a whistle too. That's that board out. Yay, it's done. I'm going to assume it's the new oilers I put in that made it so easy to get that out. <laughs> 